Hey everybody. I know it's Friday afternoon and I just got this thought in my head and I just thought I'm going to just make one more wreath today. Let's see if I can find you. Oh, there I am. I'm not going to send out a live. Sorry about that because I sent one out last night and I don't want to be a bother to people and it's the middle of the afternoon, but we're going to make a really quick wreath here. Okay. So we're going to get right into it. If you can hop on, say hi. Um, I will be posting this to YouTube so you can watch it later. Okay, so I'm taking a 10 inch simple wreath form, okay? Nothing technical here. It's just a very simple wreath form. I love them. Again, you know where to get them, consumercrafts.com, and they're having a 20% off sale. I'm gonna take five, and like I said, I'm gonna do this pretty quick, I think. Um, I have had this, Buffalo check faux plaid, one roll, one roll left for more than a year now. And they don't make it anymore. And actually, this was my first live was making this wreath, but it was a bigger wreath. It was a 14 inch, I believe. So um, this is all I have left. And I thought I'm gonna make it and just get rid of it. And not. it makes me sad looking at it. So I've put five Chanel stems here, okay? I'm going to connect them. Let's put these to the side here. I'm gonna connect these in the middle and we are going to make our own grid. We're not gonna use plastic grid here. And I'm just going to take that and I'm going to add one in at a time here so that it's nice and taut, I guess. I don't know if that's the right word, but that's okay. But um, yeah, it's Friday. It's ready for the weekend, and this will be the last wreath I make for the weekend. Maybe. We'll see. But um, I just wanted to kind of do it. Now, you can't buy this. This isn't available, but what you can do is you can buy fabric. And as long as it's a thicker fabric, so all I'm going to do is take, I just take a zip tie now instead of wrapping this all around. And that just made a grid for me. Okay, get those off and we will get started. Now we are not going to put any leaves on this. We're just gonna keep it nice and simple. So that gives us a grid to work with. Okay, so this is the simple, basic sunflower DIY wreath that I've showed you before. We're gonna take a pipe cleaner and I'm going to wrap it around this bar. Can you see that? So it's not gonna go anywhere. I'm gonna take, now this was a nine inch wide roll. So whatever the width of your roll is, is the width that you want to cut. So I just did a um, nine inch cut. So I'm going to um, just do my gather, flip it over and put it on here. And again, we are gonna just kind of fly by the seat of our pants and see what happens. We're gonna do two, oops, that's not good. And as you can see, this has like a material, a thicker material. So if you could find something that was maybe a thicker material, that would work great. You can also, if you get material, you can cut those 10 by 10 squares um, if you wanted to kind of mimic this um, look. Okay, so as I've done this before, I just take my pipe cleaners, I go forward, and then I just twist, okay? So now we're going to go to the next bracket. Let's see, I got some people on here on a Friday afternoon. I haven't looked at any of the comments, so I apologize. And for some reason I can't see the comments, so yeah, don't, I have no clue why the comments aren't coming up for me, but um, I will be posting this to YouTube, okay? So I'm gonna put two more right here. This isn't gonna be a very big wreath and we're gonna put a star in the middle. This is like old school sunflower method, very simple. Just take your pipe cleaners and you're gonna twist them right there. And what I'll do is I'll attach them somewhere along the way. Okay, so what do we do? We do the outside, the outside we go back and we do the middle. This is my backtrack method if you haven't 
seen some of my um, flower tutorials, I use this in a lot of them with this basic sunflower. So I wish my comments would come. You guys are on there, right? Okay. Nope. I have no. Oh, there they are. I, I have it. I have it. <laughs> I have the comments. You're back. Um, so yeah, they made this. They made this a couple years ago. I bought some and then they just stopped making it. And that's what's so frustrating is when a product that people love, I had black and white of this earlier this year and I, I sold every single wreath like within hours of each other. It was ri ridiculous. I could make like five of them and I sold them all. So, okay. So we did the middle. So we did the outside, outside. Let's do the next outside. So, hi everybody, it's so nice to see you all. And I know I was live last night and my video from last night is now up on YouTube. So if you need to go check it out there, if you're making a wreath with fabric mesh, um, it's now on YouTube. And this, this one will go on YouTube as well. So basic sunflower petal. I'll go slower on the next one just to make sure if you're a newbie and you're just new to all of this, um, how to do that. I just start going fast because I talk fast. Okay, so we did the outside, so we're going to do this middle, and then we're going to do the inside. Okay, so I just, I wrap my Chanel stem around the two middle brackets there. I take, I don't know why I'm like... These are, it's both, the both sides are the same, but you're gonna meet in the middle and you're just going to gather it and you're gonna like make a bow tie. So this is not gonna make a big wreath, but it's gonna be a cute wreath, that's for sure. So I did not send an alert out. So if you're wondering, why didn't I get an alert? Well, I didn't send one out because it was Friday afternoon and a lot of people are at work and I don't want to be bothering them. So one, one alert at the most of the week, at a week. Does that make any sense? I'm not really sure. You Sometimes I gotta just kind of pull this towards because what happens is it goes inward and so we want it to come this way. Okay, so now that we've done two middles, three of the outside, we're gonna do that, that last center section. So I'm going to just take my Chanel stem and it's coming on the inside of this bracket and on the outside so, so it can't move around, okay? So I'm not really sure how many petals we're gonna use. Um, if I had a 12 inch frame, I may have been able to do a 12, but I, I'm out of 12 inch frames. So we're just gonna do this. And really the star I use, I think this will be perfect. Because I think it, I think I would have needed a bigger star. So, all right, I'm gonna leave that for now because I'm not sure. I might add another petal in the middle. So we're gonna leave that for now. I'm not gonna attach it to anything. So I'm gonna do this outside um, part here, and my comments have left me again. Okay, there you go. Um, so as I talked to you before, this is a faux burlap. They don't make this anymore. I had one roll left, but Go to the fabric store. They sell this sort of fabric. Um, you know what, is it that canvas style fabric would be good. Um, you could Mod Podge the edges if you're worried about fraying. Um, it, or you could just spray this. I'm gonna spray this with um, Rust-Oleum Clear Acrylic Matte Spray when I'm done. And that will really stiffen up the petals. I also think that this would look really super cute, like in a kitchen, not necessarily outside. But when I did have lots of rolls of this, this was a popular wreath for me, but that was like two years ago and they stopped selling it. So use fabric. That's why I got on here. Um, if you use fabric, do a 10 by 10 piece. Um, you'll probably need about 30, at least 30 pieces. So do the math. Please don't message me in to ask me how much that is um, in math, okay? I'm not a math person. <laughs> I have people always message me, how many yards of fabric? Uh, get two, get three. 
you know, get two and a half. I don't know. Um, what, 10 inches? You know, you just have to do the math. And maybe, you know, a kid or a grandkid could help you with that. But I'm not really sure exactly how many yards of fabric you will need, okay? So, now that I did that middle, now we have an inside piece that we're gonna do. So I like to do this backtrack method because I just feel like you're not, your hands are not over top of your, um, your material as much, I guess. That's, yeah, that's what I would like to put it. Um, but I do know they sell material like this. So you just don't want it a super thin, cheap material. You want it to have a little bit of substance to it. I don't, if there's quilters in the group, what's a little bit not, it doesn't have to be canvas. It could be, um, oh, calico is, that's not what, I don't think that's what it's called. It, I mean, maybe something that's 100% cotton. Maybe that's something that has a little, oh, wait a minute. I told you I wasn't gonna do this yet. I'm gonna leave that because we might add an extra petal. So I'm just gonna leave that because we have room. Okay, we're gonna go to this last one and do two more. So every section we did two petals. So if you look at these, two here, two here, two, two. Then I went back to here, two, two, two. And then I went over here, two, two, two. So do you see the backtrack method? That's what we did. All right, so if you're just kind of in the middle wanting to know what, what this lady's talking about, and this does have a little phrase, but I just pull them off. Um, that is the backtrack method. So this will be super cute. I don't know if I'll part with this, but um, I am trying to get some videos done for you guys because I am going to have a few weeks where I'm not going to be able to do some lives because I'm having surgery on my ear because I have a hearing loss in my right ear. So by the end of the month, you might not see me as much, okay? So, um, so we did the outside, now we're doing the middle, and then we'll do that inside. Um, so I'm just trying to get caught up. This is what June... For the sake of YouTube, if you're watching this in 2020 or something, this is June the 7th, 2019. Because I do like to upload these to YouTube. So, alrighty. Okay. Just a quick, easy, as you can see, I've done this fairly quickly. Yes, you can use an Oli or Ollie fabric, but here's the thing, guys. If you use, it's called Oli Fun or Oli Fun, it's O-L-Y. It will disintegrate eventually if it's outside. It will not, you know, you'll get a season out of it, but you're not gonna get um, a long time. So that's why I never really, I've just never sold those wreaths because they're great if you're a beginner and, you know, but as far as selling those, I probably wouldn't recommend selling them. Maybe give them as a gift because um, the fabric, from what I understand, doesn't hold up in the sun for that long. Okay, so I'm looking, I think we're gonna go back and have to add another center piece, but let's just do this last one here in these two sections and then we'll put our star on and, um, and just see for ourselves. So, I am using a 10 inch wreath form because I wasn't sure, I didn't have any 12 inch. If I'd had a 12 inch, I may have used that, but I didn't have any. We're just gonna get this. And again, I'm just connecting it to the bar in front and so that it just is more stable. If you don't do that, your, your petals are gonna move like this and we don't want that to happen. Some people ask, why aren't you using zip ties? Um, not every wreath you can use zip ties. Some of you need to use the pipe cleaners. 
you know, if you can make it work with zip ties, go right ahead. But um, I like this. I like because it makes your petals stand out and you want dimension when you make a wreath. You don't want something flat. Um, you want something that has dimension to it and that's why I like to use this. And I can't see because I'm trying to show you. Okay. Alrighty. Looks like we have plenty to do another one in the center. There's like tape on that. Okay, so when you do this, you're gonna wanna add three petals on the in, the, the center, okay? But um, I just did two because I wasn't sure how many I would need, but I'm gonna need three. So, and that's what's nice. You can just kinda go as you go along and play with it and add more petals if you need to. And this was a nine inch roll, so I cut these at nine inches, but if I was to use fabric, which is what I'm telling you to use, um, I would recommend cutting it 10 inches by 10 inches. But this is that buffalo check, and oh my goodness, this stuff is so popular right now. Okay, so that's the last. So at this point, I'm gonna take something off my neck here. Um, we're gonna add because we have this star, I'm gonna show you. We're gonna put this star in the middle, and as you can see, we still have quite a bit that would show through. So we're gonna add one more to each one of those, and that should be enough. I'm gonna just kinda of try to move these out of the way. All right, so that should be enough. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to attach it to the grid or the, the um, what you call it, the grid that I made, okay? And I'm gonna just twist it like so, okay? And just tuck it under. So there's one. Okay, let's see if I can see my comments, okay. So this is a faux burlap. You cannot buy this. They went out of stock with this over a year ago, but what I would suggest is you use fabric. If you want to make it with this like check pattern, I know they sell it. Um, I know I've seen it at Hobby Lobby. I don't know what it's called or anything, but I know I've seen it. Make sure you use your coupon. You know, get about two and a half yards, I would think maybe. Okay, so, okay, let's go over here, do one more. And then we will, oh, we will fluff it out after we put our star in. And I always cover the back of mine with a felt circle. Anytime you have this much wreath showing, you should cover it. It just looks so much nicer. And um, I know my customers always appreciate it. I, I have reviews on my Etsy of people saying, oh, and the felt center just really finishes it off so nice. Alrighty. So two more of these. So all I'm doing is I'm adding an extra petal in the center of this. Um, so you would do three petals on that center section. So that center section here, you would add three petals. Okay, so like this is like the perfect wreath so you can see. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Okay, one more. So as you can see, that, that hole got filled up really fast. Okay. And I'm just pressing it down a little bit right here. And I'm just gonna cut some of these off. Yeah. 
trying to do this one-handed here. Okay, so now let's get out our star and then we will fluff it out. Okay, so this is the star I, I use. Let me see how big this is. Oh, this is about, at the point to point, it's like six and a half inches. That's the star. So all I did is this one had like a little spot that you could put, um, you know, a nail and then hang it on your door. So I just ran my uh, Chanel stem through that. I put it through here. I, I glued, I hot glued this piece of felt. And then I took, I had this idea. I took, um, as it's kind of sticky, um, super glue. And I put a little bit of super glue in both spots just to make sure it would stay. So I'm just going to take it and I'm going to weed it down through, okay? And then we're going to just twist it. Wow, I got a lot of you on here for the middle of a afternoon. I didn't send out an alert, so thanks for coming on, hopping on. So it gets really full, and I really like that about this wreath. Okay, so I'm going to just twist it real good. So um, I won't show you right now, but I will just take, oh, one of these um, pieces of felt and I'll just put zip ties through it out and that's how I'll cover it. So at this point, you just are gonna go through and this has, I didn't use a wood burner on this. You can't use a wood burner on fabric, of course. So you're just gonna go through and you're gonna tug at your petals to kind of get the, the look that you're wanting, okay? So it's looking a little blurry on my side, but I think it's because of my internet right now. So I'm gonna stand up and do this. And so as I look at this, you know, I'm taking out the, um, you know, the little phrase, but when I spray it with the Rust-Oleum, it's in the, the spray paint aisle, okay? It's Rust-Oleum clear matte spray. That's what I like to use. Okay. But there you go. And you can just, just work with it. You know, um, if you ever get a wreath in the mail from me, you can do this with it too. You just kind of separate your petals. And I kind of like this little frayed edge that it gives it. I don't think you can see it. It just kind of feels a little bit more rustic. So, yeah, I think we did, let's see, we did 33 petals all the way around for a 10 inch frame. And let me see here how big this is. I think this is gonna be about, let's see here. From leaf tip to leaf tip, it's gonna be about about 19 to 20 inches. So that is an Americana Buffalo plaid. You can't, you cannot purchase the same exact material that I use, but you can use fabric. And I've talked about that through this whole video. If you're just um, hopping on, um, get some of that. See, we have all these frays, but it's going to not be an issue because I'm going to spray it. And I'll probably cover this a little bit with saran wrap. And, um, but I think that is super duper cute. What do you guys think? Um, make sure to like and follow my Facebook page. If you're on Facebook, make sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Whatever I do on Facebook ends up there. So if you're not on Facebook, just make sure you follow me on YouTube. So, all right, you guys have a wonderful weekend, and I will talk to you all later. See ya. Bye.